And the whole experiment of the unfolding idea of man is a glorious unfolding. From the jungle to the mountain top of cosmic consciousness is a marvelous thing to think of. How consciousness can, can come in and dominate a body until the consciousness is all and the body is forgotten. crucial moment in our history where we are becoming increasingly disconnected from nature and our true selves. We have the power and the choice to control how we move forward. We need to share, educate, inspire, empower, and help grow that which is most important to us as humans. That true spirit within us that we all have. I am here to introduce you to the Optical Universe, a nature-based science and philosophy to help explain the universe and everything in it. This work is inspired by the likes of Nikola Tesla, Victor Schauberger, and especially Walter and Lau Russell. I use the term optical rather than electric because everything is made of light. But electricity does play a role as the sole worker in this universe of motion, or our physical reality. There is really one law in the universe, and that is balance. All other things come from balance. The universe doesn't allow anything other than balance to be replicated. Balance is based on the love principle of giving and re-giving. The principles of rhythm, vibration, time, motion, color, and sound, all these types of things are all based on balance. We live our everyday reality in this motion-based universe, but truly reside in that stillness of mind. Now mind is what I would call our true selves, higher self, and ultimately God or source. And even though there's this peace that we experience and call I that's seemingly separate from the whole, in the true reality of it all, we are part of the whole, and actually we are the whole. See, we're connected to everything and everyone. This sense-based reality is a thinking, moving one. Only in the stillness of non-motion can we be connected to our source and our true being. This is when we are truly the person we are supposed to be. We cannot live a life of harmony using our senses because they are just the receivers and interpreters of the moving vibrations. Nor can we just live from the brain. The brain can be likened to a computer hard drive that is storing the past memories and then pulling them up as needed to be used. This can be a problem as these memories and logic can be swayed by the filters of our upbringing or surroundings and not from our true self. The senses pick up vibrating waves of color, sound, smell, touch, and then interpret them through the brain. Many will disagree with the concept of the brain and mind being different things, but the mind works with knowing, and knowing can only be accessed in the stillness. Part of the problem with the world today is that we push regurgitation of data to our children and praise the ones with the best memories. We applaud the best storage capacity rather than listening to our intuition and heart. We should be pushing imagination, art, music, helping our kids follow that push from within. In this universe of motion, everything is moving and oscillating and pulsing, all at different cycles and frequencies and all around us. From big galactic bodies to little tiny atomic systems to even our own breath. In breathing and out breathing, life and death. But this death is just a seeming one because really nothing dies. It's only the start of another part of the cycle, which is then repeated infinitely, giving and re-giving forever. It's a balanced interchange of the seemingly divided and polarized equilibrium. And I say seeming because this reality is still all an illusion of motion.
The equilibrium is the stillness of mind. Mind is God. God is source. Thinking is the worker that stimulates or pushes into action the motion of this physical reality. The stillness is divided or polarized in two halves and in two directions, away from each other. These polarized halves seek the stillness of their opposite and perfect mate. Thinking is electric. Electricity is the only worker in the universe of motion. The two polarized halves are male and female. They are divided white light, red and blue. They intertwine and interpenetrate to create what we call the chemical elements and the basis of all creation in this reality. The stillness or equilibrium is the undivided light. Now everything in this universe is made of light and by dividing this light you get the motion-based reality. Now God is light, we are light, and this light is manipulated by motion in curves and spirals. Now it's compressed and expanded during these cycles from birth to death and back again. All motion is spiral and all direction is curved. And the curved and spiral motions describe this vortex motion, these vortices, because there's no straight lines in this motion-based universe. The structure of this universe is based on the shapes of the cube and the sphere. All other shapes, including platonic solids, are in different phases of the process of becoming a cube or sphere. The different stages of the sphere and cube interaction are shown all throughout nature. Cubes are made up of planes and points of stillness. Cubes bind matter, with the sphere being the matter itself. The interactions of all things in motion are recorded in what some call the Akashic Records, or the inert or noble gases. These are the chemical elements that link God's still universe to our motion and sense-based reality. They are the seed record of all that has happened and will record all that comes. This can be likened to a microfilm or film strip. From this seed springs the image of what has been recorded to be projected onto God's movie screens of space. Thought rings, or wound up light, are compressed and expanded at different speeds and cycles to create this illusion we call reality. The cycle of these interactions are called waves. Waves are all around us, interacting and interfering with each other, all working together to create this eternal movie. What we see and measure such as magnetism, gravity, our senses, etc. can be explained by the vortex motions, wave interferences, and cube sphere cycles. All of them happening within each other, around each other, and from each other. Everything is intertwined and connected. What you do to yourself, you do to others, and vice versa. This is a magical dance of light movements and pulsations creating this cosmic kaleidoscope of motion we call life. But our true selves reside in knowing stillness of the light we call God, Source, Creator. From here, we begin our journey from our knowing mind through our moving senses to learn the true nature of things. And we can give ourselves permission to no longer fear or worry or hate or feel any of these unnatural vibrations, for they do not exist in this equilibrium or stillness. It's only love. This universe is built on love and all other unbalanced things are created by man or man's unbalance. We have the free will to do as we please. But this is a giving, re-giving universe. So it is in our best interest to be aware of our thoughts and actions, to aid us in manifesting the best possible experience. We should choose to follow nature. Nature shows us how we should build, how energy should flow, how to be at one with our surroundings, and how to be efficient relating to just about anything. With this living philosophy and science, we can change the world in many ways. 
from transmuting the chemical elements to eliminating nuclear technology and waste, from removing the reliance on fossil fuels to taking care of the planet and all that live here, to work alongside of nature and the planet. We need to study the importance of waves, wave interference, and lenses to help understand the cycles and vortices that shape all that we see and measure. We must also not forget the living, growth part of the cycle in our studies and be open to new and different theories. This optical universe of moving lights and the stillness from which it springs can help us understand some of the errors in today's scientific thinking. With our new understanding of this science and philosophy, we have the power and control over what we think, how we act, and the nature of our experience. Understanding the importance of following our heart, working with nature, and staying connected to that spirit within us. We all play our own parts in this cosmic movie. We can choose to change. We can choose to learn. We can choose to be open. We can choose balance. We always have a choice.